Hello guys, what is up? This is Glad to go. Welcome you all. It's back to the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Coming back. Actually, we can just skip this, can we? We, we? we don't have to even go through that trainer. Wow, okay, never mind. Wow. This place is so... I didn't even know you could just skip all that. Way to go. Wow, we just skip all these people and the possible encounters. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, though, to the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Uh, we are back getting through the game and playing through the game, of course, doing Nuzlocke rules, as we have two Pokemon so far within the whole entire thing. Okay, so here is where things get a little bit crazy with my man Professor Kukui and the context that he puts things in. Oh, yeah, Rockruff. Let's go. Give it everything you got. My body's ready. Whoa. Sorry, sorry if that disturbed people's ears, but I'm just saying, uh, he's got to relax. All right, he's got to chill. Ah, there they go again. The Pokemon Social Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been imposing on the professor here in the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Okay. They're going a little bit to it. She shakes her head, man. She's like SMH, man. The professor uh, never says researching move. It's not even inside the lot. What kind of move was that? Sheesh. Y'all be, be gonna be bringing down the roof. Like, Jesus, man. Like, we're, we're in episode two of this playthrough, and this guy, Professor Kukui, just that has no chill. He has absolutely no chill whatsoever. Here's Rockruff just chilling. He's just. You know, like, eh, 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 eh. like that, I don't even remember, I don't even know if that's even a laugh, man. Like, eh, eh, eh. like I don't know, is that a laugh? And now he's waving at us, like, oh yeah, and you guys didn't miss anything. I'm sorry if y'all heard that. You know, we we are we are roughing things off. Of course, however, can I be a help? I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockers moves were just so styling. I was making progress with my research. So yeah, over here, uh, pretty much Kukui is going to be talking to us and upgrading our Pokedex for us as well. So basically, uh, you know, in this game we do have a Pokedex, and in this game there is a thing called the Rotom Dex, whereas you can basically put a Rotom into the Pokedex, and we, you know, it's going to basically be able to be, uh, you know, take. It's basically going to be able to talk to you and do more than an actual Pokedex normally would. It's pretty cool, but at the same time, it kind of holds your hand in the way, like as if we're a little baby who can't, you know, research things ourselves and know where to go next and actually look through the game ourselves. Like, I don't know. I think it's a cool add-on. They just did too much with it. And I think it gets a little bit distracting. Uh, you know, I, I like the aesthetics and all that, but like, I feel like it's just, it's too much to me. It's too much for me. If it was an actual Pokemon, I think that'd be really cool. Like, imagine using a uh, Rotom Dex you know, type of thing, where it was like, electric normal or something like that, like, I think that'd be pretty cool, but, you know, it's not even an actual Pokemon, it's just able to program within a Dex and do more things for you and all that. And here's how pretty much invading the lab, trying to, you know, cause trouble, and Lily's just like, HELL NAH, YOU AIN'T DOING SHIT IN HERE, THIS IS MY PLACE, MY CRIB, YOU AIN'T TOUCHING IT, AND HE'S JUST LIKE, WHOOP, MY BAD, AND THEN CUCKOO'S TRYING TO, LIKE, YOU KNOW, PLAY IT OFF, LIKE, OH, YEAH, IT'S ALL GOOD, HE'S JUST A CURIOUS LITTLE KID, YOU KNOW, DON'T don't GIVE HIM TOO MUCH SHIT, SO, PRETTY COOL STUFF, THIS LAB IS PRETTY COOL, IT HAS AWESOME STUFF IN IT, AND, UH, I THINK EVERYBODY'S KIND OF JEALOUS OF OUR Rotom DEX AT THIS POINT, AND PERSONALLY, I DON'T REALLY CARE TOO MUCH FOR IT, SO, I DON'T KNOW WHY EVERYBODY'S SO JEALOUS, LIKE, WHY YOU'LL BE SO JEALOUS, SOMETHING TOO COOL ABOUT THIS THING, NOW THEY'RE SHOWING OFF OUR SHORT SHORTS, WHICH THEY'RE REALLY SHOWING OFF, YOU KNOW. The Rotom decks and all that, so that's pretty cool. Now we have to get a. Now we're gonna have to get a move on, and now we're actually gonna get have to go back to where we uh, originally were from. So we're gonna have to go through those trainers anyways. But it does save us a lot of time to just drop those ledges and whatnot. So nice little shortcut for those people that want to speed through the game a little bit. My my goal is not to speed through the game by any means. It's just that I want to you know make progress within each and every episode of the playthrough. So if there are optional things then I'm not really going to be too entitled to do them. So this is still round one, by the way. I did do the research. I did look things up, a.k.a. I asked my friend, and he told me it's still round one. So thank you, Matt! <laughs> so yeah, uh, we can't catch anything over here yet, because obviously we already cut our route one Pokemon. So yeah, and route one does extend for a while. So, uh, well, not for too long. There are just some different areas in between, which are pretty nice. Um... So it's not really going to be the worst thing in the world. We're going to be able to get more Pokemon sooner than later, but uh, at the same time, we're going to be sticking with the squad that we have right now for a little bit as well. 
Unless a shiny is to appear, man. If there's shiny clones happening and there's a shiny appearing, then I'm taking that thing and it's gonna be part of my party. I don't care too much. But the same as that time, I mean, what are the odds of that happening? When I have 1096, it may not seem too bad, but in my terms, I'm my, my luck isn't really the best, unfortunately. So yeah. All right. So I don't know where to go at this point. Okay. So we have to go over here. Hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first. So now we have to go through the Pokemon Center where we're going to be able to see that we can heal the Pokemon, get some items, and also go to the cafe, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like a Starbucks type of thing in the Pokemon Center. So there are any things in the Pokemon Center they never really thought would be in the Pokemon Center in the first place. The PC is looking pretty nice, and uh, the way that you heal your Pokemon is really cool as well. Like, it shows the Pokemon and how they're getting healed up on the screen, which they usually do, but they show it in such a much more clear fashion. It's like the future, man. It's looking really nice, and uh, I'm really happy with how they're kind of uh, handling things within this whole entire uh, playthrough of the game and uh, the way they just program everything in general. Here we are, the trainer's school. It, it, it's... What in the world? Okay, so over here we see that little Tauros. Tauros is blocking the road, which uh, we figure out is kind of a common theme in this area, uh, where that is going to be Howley City, which is kind of like the Lumio City of this game, which isn't as bad as Lumio City. Lumio City was pretty pretty annoying to be honest. Hey there Ellie, I have most of the plans to do somehow, huh? But welcome to Trainer School, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon Trainer. I don't understand how he got so ahead of us. Like how do you how do you do that? Professor Kukui, is this the channel you tell me about? Yeah, put her through the ringer teach. Four trainers. You've got to be four Pokemon trainers here at the school. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Ash just speaking of experience, why don't you take this? So we're going to get the XP share, and I did vow to not use the EXP share in this Nuzlocke, so we're not going to be using that. We're actually going to go ahead and turn that off once we get the, uh, you know, ability to do so. The trainers who will take part of this lesson will maybe be inside of outside of the school. You may also want to visit our classes. You'll be sure to learn a lot. Let the lesson begin. So, uh, over here, I don't know if this is a new route or not either, as I don't think this is exactly Howley City yet. I'm gonna make sure that uh, that's the case. I mean, you got Rotom Dex now, so let's check it out. No, no, I don't care about my task. I know what my task is. Let me see the map. Okay, so yeah, this is this is still Route One. Yeah, this is like all Route One. Mm, that kind of sucks. I was looking forward to getting some new Pokemon. So it looks like our next uh. Our next task will be in uh, Howley City, unfortunately, which, you know, it's not it's nothing too crazy, honestly. It's something too bad, so yeah. As you can tell, this haunt area is all right, one. And even though you're going into, like, the streets and the corners and whatnot, and the trainer's school and whatnot, it's still Rat 1, so. We just gotta kind of live with that. So, we have to fight against four trainers, and there are some inside the school and some outside the school. I know there's one over here. And I know that you have to be three trainers in order to go against the four trainer, which is outside. So, I kind of know what to do over here. So, yeah. If you guys want to use this as a, you know, way to figure things out yourself and use it like, kind of like a guide, I do know what I'm doing because I'm, I'm doing the Pokemon Moon playthrough alongside this series. And, obviously, if you're watching both series, you'll notice that I'm doing these a lot faster within this playthrough compared to my other playthrough. Because my Moon playthrough is my blind playthrough where I am, like, completely... Uh, you know, into just figuring things out myself and going through things that are completely optional as well. Because I really want to explore through the game and uh, my curious side tends to come out a lot whenever I play these types of things as well. So yeah. Good thing this thing didn't use uh, Echo Voice more than once because it would get more and more powerful if you used it in a row. But since Piggyback didn't use it in a row, we are pretty much okay. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. Pack even if it crits you can kill us. You gotta really be weary of how much HP you have, and after, uh, after doing the Pokemon Blaze Black and Voltway 2, uh, Soul and Gagla Co-op with JVP, I have definitely been more, uh, careful with the, uh, things that I do within the playthroughs of the games. Even if it's just a normal game, I'm very, very careful. So, uh, that's basically what has happened to us within playing those games. Just not the best things in the world. So, yeah. Over she's gonna talk to us about items. That's cool. I never knew items were even a thing in the first place. And over here we do actually unlock the uh, festival plaza, which is pretty cool as well. I think this will be actually a good place to, uh, you know, go ahead and save our game. Okay, so we got that all settled up and whatnot, and time to go against the other trainers in this very own area. So let's go ahead and check it out. 
I kind of remember where the people are. This is going to be, I believe, the second person over here. And we can go ahead and fight her and all that kind of cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, these trains aren't really not too difficult. They typically have what you really should expect. You know, the uh, elementary type Pokemon. Actually, no, this person actually has a Bonsly. So that's pretty cool, actually. I completely forget. I actually don't really remember too much of this area, to be honest with y'all. So, uh... I'm not gonna hate too much on a Bonsly. I mean, I love Bonsly. Like, you know, just try to see like how it is in anime. Bonsly! So, like, you know, you gotta love it a little bit. And that's not gonna give it an echo. It's gonna use fake tears. This thing's trying to be all cute. This thing's trying to be all cute, but it's really just trying to be a nice little menace to me. And I'm just like, nope. Even though you're playing nice, I'm not gonna, you know, take it too easy on you. You're gonna die. You're gonna lose your HP. Although, Pseudo Odo is pretty awesome. Pseudo Odo is awesome. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I turned off the EXP share. Or maybe it's still on. I, got, I hope I turned it off. I actually, I like, completely forgot if I did or not. And we did not. So, that's, it's good that I just figured that out. Like, I just kind of remember that. So, that's good. I, like, said that I was going to do that. And then, like, I completely forgot. Okay. So, I think the last, or not the last, but I think the third person is going to be uh, in, like, the courtyard in this area. Okay, but, yeah, this person should be the trainer, I believe. Let's go ahead and go against them. And yeah, in this area, you can find grammars, which is so awesome. If you just heard that in the wilds. I like how they kind of added to that to the game, where it's like in Gen 3, if you're near the grass or whatever, if you're just new near uh, Pokemon in general, you can hear the Pokemon's cry, which is super awesome. So they brought that back into this game, which is really cool as well. And uh, yeah, connect will be whatsoever. So we're going against Youngster Joey over here. And I don't know why Yoshi Joey does not have a Rattata. Like, not even an alone Rattata. This man has a Metapod. Like, what happened to Joey? What happened? Was this Joey just too cool for school or something? Like, I mean, staying outside of school. But, like, was he just too cool to be a part of the norm? Like, if I were Joey, I would be, like, you know, inspired by the Joey with a top percentage Rattata, man. Like, I would be wanting to learn from my man. I'd be calling him Senpai, dude. Like, it would be like that. But this kid literally just disrespects the name that is youngster joey like come on man and uh yeah okay so i think we went against three people now and now we have only one person left and it should be this guy over here i'm just gonna go ahead and heal i know it's only two hp but you know what this is a lock we might as well take it you know take it safe like i said after doing the boys like a vote way too so like lock it's never uh, such a thing as being too careful you gotta always be careful you gotta always have your a game with you uh, I don't really remember what this guy has. I think he has an alone Grimer, if I recall correctly, because I remember I used my own against him in this area. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with my uh, picky pack over here, and let's talk to this guy, who's apparently the tallest guy in the school. You want to know why I want to be strong? It's because it's cool to be strong, duh. I mean, I would say no shit Sherlock, but I guess that would be kind of rude of me, and plus you're a little kid. Rising star Joseph. My man has a grammar. Of course, my man. I, of course, Joseph would have a grammar. Like you know, I love my boy Zach, aka Joseph himself. Always gonna be repping that man. Always gonna be repping the grammar as well. Um, you just gotta play strategic, man. I'm not too concerned about picky pack. I just wanna weaken this thing so I can go into Poplio, because this thing is like uh, level eight. And if I recall correctly, this this thing also does have bite, as my grammar does in the other playthrough. And bite on this thing is really powerful, so we gotta really be careful. So he's gonna go for the harden. He's gonna go for the harden. Um, not too concerned about that actually. Let's go for another growl. He's giving us another opportunity to growl him. I think after two growls, I can uh, get to pop Leo. Fine. I just I don't wanna I don't wanna you know make any sort of mistakes or whatever. Cause grammar is actually pretty tough in this game, especially if this thing does have poison touch. Because I'm pretty sure these things can have poison touch as well as uh. As well as the other ability that I can have. Or maybe it doesn't have Poison Touch anymore. I don't remember. Like, I actually completely forgot what the uh, abilities were in this. Um, I don't even know what mine does, or mine has in the actual game. So, I don't know. I don't know if it can have Poison Touch or not. You see, that's where, like, the, I guess, like... Oh, I guess Poison, I guess. Okay. Um, I guess that's where, like, the inexperience of this game comes in. Where, like, I just don't know much. Like, I played through the game, but, like, the new Pokemon just... They're, like, it's going to take me for a while to memorize these Pokemon and the movesets and abilities and all that, so yeah. Damn, the first the first water gun that's so much more damage, man. Okay, now this is a little bit of a... This is a little bit of a uh, peculiar situation, because if he gets a crit, I'm dead. Or if he just gets like a high roll on his bite, it may kill me. So I'm going to go with the potion. We have lots of potions to use. 
I'm going to take advantage of using the potions. He's gonna go for another bite. Better to be safe than sorry, man. Better to be safe than sorry. Or maybe like a speed attack can happen. I don't know. You never know what can happen, man. You never know. Grammar slow is turd, but you never know whether it'll come out and outspeed you or not. But that does kill the grammar, so that is taken care of. Just gotta make sure that we don't die. Pikachu doesn't go to level 7, that's fine. Echoed voice. Nothing too crazy. It's extremely frustrating, but you're stronger than I am. I mean, I used an item, so you're decent. You're okay. Ah, now that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead, bro. Right? You're trying to be a model out here? But fine, whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a word even. Take this technical machine. So we're going to get TM01, which is work up in this game. And uh, work up is all right. It raises the attack, it's real attack whenever you use the item or whenever you use the move in battle. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not really the best thing in the world either. Oh, that's the school bell. Okay, so over here, they can say potential students. But Ellie, please come to the office on second floor. We just finished up a battle, and then coincidentally, the uh, the school just fucking rings us up. So that's pretty cool. So at this point, we are going to be going against the uh, teacher that was a part of the school. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm confident enough to go against a teacher yet because I'm pretty sure she does have a Magnemite. And as you can probably tell, my team against the Magnemite is absolute, is absolute shit. Normal, not really effective. Flying, double, not really effective. And then water is, you know, decent against electric. It's just that electric itself is super effective against water. So... We definitely have to watch out. Unfortunately, there are new no new routes to go with, like I mentioned before while I'm never looking in the uh, map, so kind of sucks. But uh, we are going to be able to go back to the other routes and go get some trainers just to get some experience, because experience is important, and I don't think we really have any other place to go to with an experience in this area, so I think we are going to have to go back a little bit, which is fine, because we did skip a good amount of people, which we can just get good uh, you know experience from in the first place. But I do have to really, really, really... Uh, you know, be careful while going against a Magnemite. Because those things just, just thundershock you to death. And, uh, you know, that's unfortunate. And you just got to make sure that you don't make any sort of dire mistakes. So, yeah. Um, Matt was right whenever he said that this was not a new route. Because it doesn't say anything different within Route 1. Route 1 is all in the same exact place. And it's, uh, it's a big area. It's a really big area. So here's Mr. Kevin. We should have fought him before, but we didn't. He has like Robin. So shout out to the bug type. So this thing is going to become a Vikavolt, which is really cool. But for now, it's a Grubbin. Level 6. We're going we're gonna to get a level up. I'm cool with level ups. I just really want to do this easy. And uh, we got to grind out a little bit. You know, we got to grind out a little bit. This will be a nice match for Picky Peck, but you know what? It's fine. I don't think Picky Peck will do anything for me against Magnemite except for being Death Fodder. I don't think it's worth me even bringing it up within any sort of, uh, you know, levels. So, we're going to take it nice and easy and, uh, you know, just kind of steadily grow a little bit. He has baby doll lines. Should we teach this thing baby doll lines? Uh, this brings down its text that this move always goes first. It's better than growl because it always goes first. I'll just go to growl because that's priority at the very least. So, yeah, that's kind of lame. Like, I feel like baby doll lines should just be like a you know, level 5 move at that point, if it just does what Growl does. You know, like, why would he have both moves? I think that's kind of kind of productive, but you know what? That's fine. So what can we find over here? We can find any still Young Goose. We'll go, we'll go against some Young Goose. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna take our time. We were speeding through the game before. I, I just want to be careful. I just want to be careful, because you know what? Anything can happen, man. I'm not in, in the mood for that. Unless it's tackled to get like a super ultra duper crit thing and kills me or whatever, that would be the worst of situations ever. <laughs> and also, if there are any instances where I feel like I have to really, uh, you know, grind off screen, I will grind off screen just to notify you guys about that. Just because, um, you know, sometimes things get a little bit crazy and I don't really want to show all the grinding on screen because I know you guys don't like to constantly see grinding on screen. But at the times, you know, it's nice to show it off a little bit. Rather than have everything be off screen, because then it's not going to feel as authentic to you all. And I want this quality and content to be authentic to you guys, otherwise, it won't feel fun. Ooh, supersonic. Supersonic speed. Man, I wish the Summer was a better move. It's such a terrible move, honestly. Let's go out to Piggy Bell. Let's give, let's give Piggy Bell some love. Because right now, Poplio obviously isn't doing much for me. 
And this Pinky Peck is Admin, but unfortunately, we are not growled, so... Whatever move that we could have used was kind of just put the shit. Damn, this thing's faster than Pinky Peck, hello? That does way too much damage, holy shit. That does way too little damage. I'm gonna go for Echo Voice. Supersonic Mist. See, if I was an admin, that would have killed. <laughs> The one time we're adding on this type of Pokemon really hurts, and he missed three Super Sonics. This poor Wingle, trying to get me confused, but he's just confusing himself in the process. Poor little Wingle. Poor little Wingle. <laughs> Alright. I definitely want to get Poplio to around level 14 or something like that, just so I can have that little edge above, above the uh, teacher. I keep on forgetting the teacher's name. I remember it started with an E, I think, but I just don't remember like the full name, so... I guess we'll figure it out unless I can remember it. Young Goose is alright. He gets some decent experience. I'm not too upset going against these things. I just wish my Poppy wasn't like impish nature, man. That would have been so much better. It's like. It's such a tease, man. It's such a, it's such a tease. Giving me his Poppyo and then just bringing its special attack to garbage. Like, at the very least, at least it's not adamant. That would be, that would suck. Okay, so here's another trainer. I should completely forget that there was even a trainer over here. Check out your cute Pokemon. Hell nah. I'd rather I'd rather go on the beach that you're on and just just drown myself, man. Fuck that. Wingle. Why do you have to have Wingles, man? I hate Wingle. Cause like it's just it's annoying as Supersonic. Like it's fast. Let's go for Pound. Cause this thing's just gonna have to use Water Gun and Supersonic. It's not really gonna be able to do much to me. That that Water Gun's a three damage. That's more than I thought. That's a crit. That's not a crit. All right. I guess the Wild Wingle's better than this Wingle then. Oh no no he used Growl. I'm stupid. All right. So this thing isn't as bad as I thought. I just I just had to not use uh, Growl this time at first. All right. That's cool. That was like find like a Wild Pokemon though. That trainer's so useless. Gives me some decent money though, and you know what? I'll take money if I can get it. Can we like rustle these trees or any point just to get items or no? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. Over here there are more wild Pokemon. Might as well just look around here a little bit, see what's up. Another Wingle. I mean, after defeating the last one, I know I can defeat this thing in two turns as long as he doesn't use Grav first, so I'm just gonna stay in. Gonna get starts to level 12 after this one as well. And I think after this uh, encounter, we can call it an episode because, well, we've got some things going. Oh, wow. The Swingle is just more defensive because the Water Gun did less than the other Wingle did, but it took the pound like a billion times better. At this point, we can kind of use this Army Voice and see how much that even does. Super Sonic, oh no! It's actually kind of annoying. I should have probably went back and healed, to be honest, rather than going back into doing battles. But we do get past the confusion. Oh, that does some decent damage. Okay. I mean, Simon stab it. It doesn't do some decent damage. I took the risk of being confused this turn, just because I knew Water Gun, even if it did hit me, would not really do much. And we never need ourselves again. Poplio is fighting through the confusion like a boss, and Wingo has been defeated. Level 12 coming through for the Poplio. Looking all adorable. Special attack going higher. Bringing us some justice. And uh, yeah. I think that will call it an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Pokemon Sun. Now, like, if you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like and also drop a comment. Always doing so will help out this series a ton. Also, be sure to check out the playlist that is down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next episode and peace out.